Hello there and welcome back to the Aqua Open Source channel where we show you the latest and greatest from our open source tools, features, projects and more. Now, we have just released Trivi version 0.31.0 and as part of that release, we've released Trivi Cloud. You can now scan your cloud accounts, your running services within your cloud accounts for security issues starting from misconfiguration scans. Now, <laughs> This feature is going to start off with Trivi AWS. If you're using AWS, you can scan pretty much any service within your AWS account for security issues. Why is this important? Well, you could already scan your infrastructure as code with the Trivi CLI using Trivi config to scan them for misconfiguration issues, for exposed secrets and more. Now, what do you do once you deploy your cloud formation, your Terraform? What do you do if you prefer using the website and clicking buttons to configure your different services? How do you know if you've configured everything correctly? AWS is a vast platform and you might not know all of the different tools, services, and their configurations that you have running within. And this is exactly where Trivi AWS can help you to visualize anything that might be insecure, might expose any of your data and might provide a security risk. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the new feature Trivi AWS. Let's get started. To try out the Trivi AWS feature, you need to obviously have Trivi installed already. If you already have Trivi installed, skip forward to the next chapter. Otherwise, join me along in installing Trivi. You can find the installation either in the README or in the documentation. Make sure you're on the latest release. And then within the Getting Started section, it might change them, uh, you can find the installation guide. And here you will find multiple different installation options depending on your preferences, on your environment and more. Now, once you have Trivi installed, just make sure that it works. Trivi dash dash version. And we can see the Trivi version. So once you have Trivi installed, you want to also make sure that you are connected to your AWS account through the AWS CLI because the Trivi AWS CLI command uses the AWS CLI to connect to your AWS services. So here I have configured EU Central 1 region as my default region in my example account. Now, once you have that, we can go ahead and either type Trivi or Trivi dash dash help. And this will give us a list of available commands. Here you can also see a list of example commands. Lots of examples are also in the docs. Here's the Trivi config command that I mentioned a second ago that allows you to scan infrastructure as code, including Terraform and cloud formation for misconfiguration issues. Also, we have the Trivi AWS account to scan your AWS services for any misconfiguration issues. Next, we're going to see the different options that we have available with Trivi AWS just by typing Trivi AWS dash dash help. And this will give you several different options. First of all, we will see here the different services that Trivi can actually scan. As you can see, those are a lot of different services within your AWS account that Trivi can scan. And then we have here the usage of the CLI command. Trivi follows with all of its CLI commands a standardized usage pattern. You type Trivi, then what you want to scan, in this case, AWS. And then you can specify the region that you want to scan if you don't have a default region configured like I do in my case. And then you can also, for example, specify the specific service. Now we're going to go ahead and first type Trivi AWS to scan our AWS account for misconfiguration issues. Now, as you can see, here's a table with all of my different issues, my different services that I have within my account, and then the critical high, medium, low and unknown vulnerabilities within. Now, this includes all of the vulnerabilities or misconfigurations um, that you can fix. And as you can see, the EAM, yeah. um, how do you pronounce it even? Um, <laughs> roles have lots of high misconfiguration issues that should be addressed. And then we have um, several critical ones in EC2. And as you can see, something else very interesting is that this is from my cached results. So by default, Trivi AWS will cache the outcome of the scan for 24 hours. Now, as you can imagine, if you have a very big account with lots and lots of different services, the scan can take a little bit longer. However, if you already have cached results and you configured a new service or something else, right? And 
for some reason you want to update the cache, you want to run a completely new scan, you can run Trivi AWS dash dash update cache. And this will perform the entire scan again. It is worth noting that it's really useful to have the results cached because this will allow us in a second to go into more detail on each of those services and their specific misconfiguration issues. Now, as you can see, this is about the same table that is displayed after the new scan. If you want to specify a time duration for your cache, for example, you would actually like to update every 12 hours or every six hours, you can also define it with Trivi AWS dash dash max cache age and then the time duration that you want to have the cache for. And then Trivi will compare it with the cache and when it was saved and potentially update the cache. Now, in this case, it will not update the cache since we've just performed the scam. If you want to specify a different region, you can type Trivi AWS dash dash region and then specify the different region. Now, in this case, I'm going to just use the same region. It will not perform the scan again, but you can also specify different regions and different accounts if that's what you want to do without actually changing the account or region in the AWS CLI. Now we've just seen that our EC2 um, service has several misconfiguration issues. So we want to look in more detail on that service and its issues. This is done with the dash dash service flag and then specifying the service name that you want to scan. Now this is again using the cache, as you can see here. We can use the same cache options flags that I just specified. And then it will just provide me with more details on the different resources, the different services I have within that service type. So the different instances and then the vulnerabilities per instance. Now we can also look at specific services, like specific instances of a service by specifying the RN ID. So just dash dash RN after the service um, name. And then we will get the result of the specific service. So this is the default VPC that you shouldn't be using. And here you will find to every misconfiguration issues, you will find the AVD link as well. And we can just copy and paste it. And this leads us to the link by Aqua with some more information on the misconfiguration. So AWS best practice is not to use the default VPC for workflows. It's a high misconfiguration issue. You can also find the link that leads you to the information by AWS on the default VPC. So as you can see with each misconfiguration, you can get additional information that allow you to make more informed decisions on how to configure your services. If you prefer JSON output or saving JSON output to a file to reference, for example, later on or share it with other people, you can use the dash dash format flag like with any other Trivi CLI command. And this will provide you with the JSON output of the misconfiguration issue. If you want to have a nicer way to view it, you could also go ahead and pipe it into a tool such as JLS. And this will allow you to actually go through the JSON output in more detail. For more inspiration on how to use the Trivi AWS CLI command, just type Trivi AWS dash dash help. And you will find again the list of like global flags that you can use with Trivi, AWS specific flags that allow you to specify further which account, which resources you want to scan and more. And then you can also find the misconfiguration flags that are particularly important for the Trivi AWS CLI command. Now, at this point, I invite you to try your Trivi AWS on your own AWS account on your AWS services. Let us know what you like and what you don't like about the feature. Can we improve it in some way in future releases? Comment below if you have any questions, thoughts, suggestions, or join the Aqua Open Source Slack channel. Also linked below. Also, we would love to hear from you either in GitHub issues, if there's anything that doesn't work like expected, or in our discussion section if you have any suggestions. I would love to welcome you in future tutorials. Please consider subscribing to the open source channel for those. And give this video a thumbs up and maybe give Trivia Star on GitHub. It would mean a lot to us. I hope to see you in upcoming videos. Have an amazing day. Bye bye. <laughs>